perimeter of those bars doesn't allow anything bigger than that through. So I think the spacing's 110 millimetres. So basically any any wildlife greater than 110 millimetre diameter will hit the will hit the rail, slide down and go out the flat. To the point there people complain now when they're not working properly. That's why we have to set the angles prop properly and make sure they work correctly. They're overhauled at great expense every year. To buy a new one of these is anywhere between eight hundred and twelve hundred dollars each. Yep. And reworking them like this is probably around the three hundred dollar mark. So yeah, it's a big investment by industry, but you know, obviously it pays off for us too. Because I could be carrying anything up to six of these on a boat. It's a lot of boat, poor boat, it's a yeah. lot of money. grid over there, these are the smaller grids that we use for the second half for tiger fishing, usually on the four gear, on the quad gear. Yep. Uh, we carry a largest head, which is the model at the back. Yep. When we're carrying a single net on either side, usually a much larger net, so it's easier to drag a much bigger head. Very good. 